So this is part two of chapter one. I spend a lot of time on leaves and uh, photosynthesis and what occurs in trees and how it feeds itself. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Uh, cool. If not, see you later. <laughs> Okay, so first thing, leaves. There are two different types of trees. There are deciduous trees, the trees that shed their leaves in the fall and grow back in the spring. And then there's evergreen trees, your pine trees, which hold on to their, their leaves or needles. You know, the book just refers to them as uh, leaves. But um, they hold on to their needles for longer than a year. So deciduous, evergreen. So it's cold outside. I decided to bring it in. Uh, as you can see, I put a lot of thought and effort into my backdrop. Okay, so my, my wife did. But um, we're going to talk about leaves still. Leaves are the food factory of the tree, right? Um, they contain a cell called, I, I'm just going to look, hold on, I always, I mix these two up, called um, chloroplast, okay, yeah, and these contain a green pigment called chlorophyll, so when sun, uh, when sun hits the leaves, um, you know, um, this is fake, but when sun hits the leaves, uh, the energy of the sun is absorb through the through the chlorophyll and is stored in the chloroplast and this is where photosynthesis occurs so the raw material needed for photo photosynthesis is carbon dioxide and water um, the tree absorbs carbon dioxide through the uh, stomata which also controls transpiration and respiration. So respiration is converting food into energy, right? Uh, this is the process of the tree using its stored carbohydrates and uh, releasing the CO2. You know, it's like the same thing as us breathing. We breathe in, get our O2, breathe out CO2. Transpiration is the loss of water in the form of vapors through the stomata. This cools the leaves and pulls water through the xylem up to the leaves. Um, it's The stomata is controlled by guard cells and it is typically located um, on the bottom side of leaves, right? And the stomata closes and opens. So it closes during the night and opens in direct sunlight. Um, but what happens in photosynthesis is the light uh, that is accumulated through the sun and stored in the chloroplast is converted into the chemical energy, carbohydrates, right? And is used for growth and development or stored as a starch for later use. Oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. Cool. Deciduous trees lose their leaves uh, every fall, right? And it's because of the environmental changes that occur during fall, uh, mainly the temperature and the length of day. Uh, so during this time, like short sunny days with cold nights, uh, and enhance the accumulation of sugars and decreases uh, the production of chlorophyll, which allows other pigments to uh, become more prominent, which which causes the change of color in uh you know in the leaves that you see that's why it falls so pretty um and when they fall like they fall because of a uh, uh, a zone called the abscission zone this is at the base of uh the petal or the leaf and um yeah its main functions are to allow the tree to not the the tree but allow the leaves to fall and to protect that area that was at the base of the leaf. So I have my bonsai tree here so we can talk about um, growth habits and what influences growth. So the book mentions two 
um, plant hormones or plant growth regulators. The first one is auxin, and the second one is cytokinins. Um, they're located in the in the tip of each shoot, as well as the root caps, and um, that's about as much as I'm going to talk about. Uh, I would strongly urge you to go and read and uh, educate yourself on auxins and cytokinins because I still need to. I need to continue on, continue that. But what I am going to talk about is uh, uh, geotropism, phototropism, um, as well as X current growth and D current growth habits. So first, we're going to talk about pho phototropism. If you notice. My little bonsai tree here is growing kind of in that direction, right? You can see the tip of the, you can see these limbs right up here. Are, everything's pointed towards the left. That's because I have a window right here and the sun is coming in at this angle the majority of the day, right? So the tree is literally growing, it's reaching out towards the sun so the leaves can get as much sun as possible to create its carbohydrates. Um, this tree, um, there's also geotropism growth, which is uh, its response to gravity. You know, um, this is, I've seen like in pine trees where the the top of the tree completely bends over and starts growing downwards. It's not common. You can see uh, gravity has an effect on everything, right? It has an effect on these limbs going down, which uh, are in need of pruning. Um, yeah, so geotropism is the response to gravity on the tree and its growth. X-current growth is um, what I would say this tree is, uh, exhibiting right now. Um, X turn, X, no, not X current, sorry, D current growth. Um, and these are more rounded trees, which have a lot of limbs, you know, lateral shoots going out. Um, and they're more short and stocky and X current growth is, uh, your typical pine tree. They have a, 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 strong they're growing upright they have a strong central leader um and yeah so that's what i got there's a ton of information in chapter one and um i'm doing my best to cover it all i don't think i did um I have personally read that chapter at least four or five times now. There's just so much information. I would suggest doing the same. Um, really, it all depends on how you retain knowledge, though. Uh, I am. I hope that these videos are beneficial to watch in some way. And if you're still here, by the way, thank you so much. You're the real MVP. I hope you consider subscribing and dropping a like. Um, next episode see of the series or whatever you want to call it lecture <laughs> these things are hardly a lecture but um we'll be we're moving on to chapter two because i need to keep it moving along and i'll see you in the next one